What's up guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on our beginner series. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today, so we're back. If you remember last episode, we got our farm going, and it's all growing really great. As you can see, we have uh, veggies and all of these. We got long grass, savo root, rock carrot, citronol, and uh, that's the savo root. And that one, these are all going really great. And we've been collecting some eggs. We got our egg layers over here. Our dodos. Oop, dodo egg. Grab it. Uh, we have our dodos that are producing some eggs for us. And we were lucky, actually. Our pteranodon is a lady as well. No, no more eggs from the pteranodon. So we've been gathering some uh, eggs from the pteranodon and the dodos. We're going to take our veggies and we're going to make some kibble today. So I'm going to show you guys how to make some kibble. We're going to make some basic kibble out of the dodo eggs and some simple kibble out of some pteranodon eggs. And then we're gonna go out and try to get some uh, starter tames. I think maybe we're gonna get a couple of dillos for some base defense and potentially a raptor so we can have a carnivore to ride around on. Should be some fun. Hopefully you guys learn something. So if you guys like this episode, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button. Yeah, I need to get the flex emote on this server. I don't have it yet. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab some veggies. We're gonna throw these in our preserving bin that we made last time. So let's uh, grab these veggies out. We'll just take one side out for now. So we'll grab all these veggies. Okay. Now, what we're gonna need to make kibble is cooking pots. So if you go into your Ingrams, you wanna look for cooking pot. Now we have S plus. I'm gonna actually make one of each. Uh, in case you don't have S+, plus, so we're going to craft up some cooking pots. We're going to go into our crafting. We're going to pull for one of those and craft. And then we're going to pull for one of those and craft. I'll show you why I'm making one of each uh, in a minute. Just for the people that don't have S+, plus, potentially. I'll be able to show you guys how to make it in a regular cooking pot. Um, now, in here, for the kibble we're making today, we only need carrots. So we're going to put our... Uh, Savo root, a long grass, and the citronol away. We're going to grab our eggs. Okay, there we go. And we're going to need some cooked meat and some fish meat. So we already have some cooked meat on us. We're going to have to kill a couple of fish for some fish meat. So let's take our cooking pots. This is the regular. Put this one down. Bam. And then this is the S+. Plus. Now, the S+, plus cooking pot, shows you the recipes of what you actually need to make these things. So if you go into consumables, crafted foods, here's all the kibbles and foods that you can make in Ark. So we're gonna be working on this today, the basic kibble. So we need Amar berries, cooked meat, dinosaur eggs, fiber, medjo berries, tinto berries, and water. Now, if you're using a regular cooking pot, it won't show you that. It doesn't show you the recipes, but it takes the exact same things to make it you just have to put it in yourself. So if you're using a re regular cooking pot, you're on console or you don't have um, S plus, you can either screenshot this right now or you can look it up online. It shows it all over the place. I'll leave this up for a second so you guys can screenshot it. This is what you're gonna need. You take these ingredients, you put them in the cooking pot and it's gonna make. Now, uh, beginner mistake that I've done a million times. You need to also put wood in your cooking pot and light the fire before it makes anything. So make sure you put some wood in there and you get ready to light the fire. Now, the main ingredient that we're gonna need is water. In order to get water into the cooking pot, we're gonna craft up a bunch of water skins. So let's craft up 10 water skins here, which is a huge pain, by the way. I absolutely hate this part of making kibble. It's because you gotta take water, fill up a water skin, bring it over to the cooking pot, make the kibble. It's like a huge, huge pain, but this is how it's got to be done. Eventually, you can get an industrial cooking pot and you can pipe to it. You can irrigate it so you don't have to go through all this trouble. But we are not at that point yet. So we can just fill these up. You can fill these up right in your inventory on PC. Uh, I'm not sure about on console, but you can just do it right from here. If you just E on the water skin while you're standing like a little bit into the water, it'll just fill right up. We got a couple more here. Okay. Two more. And boom. And 
Bam. Okay. So there we go. Those are all full. Back to the cooking pot. We're going to put all this stuff in here. We're going to put in our dodo eggs. We're going to go to consumables. Now, again, we have S plus, so we can just pull. So we're going to pull for 10. Hopefully we have all the things we need. And then if we light the fire, there we go. Our kibble is starting to cook. Boom. And once these water skins clear out, we're going to fill them up a little bit more because we have four, we have 14 eggs, which means we'll be able to make 14 kibble. So we need 14 full waters. So we're going to go fill up four of these one more time. And bam, 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 bam. Okay. Now we should be able to finish like off and make I'm glad I 14 help. basic kibble. Oh, we didn't pull for enough. Wait, four more. And pull. Wait, wrong. Crafted. Pick. You gotta actually select the item. There we go. Now those four are crafting. I think. Is it doing it? Are we good? Game. Are we one short? Oh, the one that's in my inventory. That one. And do it. Why do you hate me? Hello? One. Pull. All right. There we go. I was missing some ingredients. So there we go. We have now 14 basic kibble. This is good for dillos and penguins. Basically a bunch of the small creatures. Um, you can, again, it's a huge list. You could probably look it up. It'd be easier. We're going to put our fire out. And now we're going to talk about making simple kibble, which is this kibble. Now for this, you need fish meat. Dinosaur eggs, fiber, medjo berries, rock carrots, and water. So now we need to hunt some fish. So let's go over to the edge of the water here. Let's see. It would be really great if there was just one of the big... Uh... Oh, here we go. Nice. Right here. Come here, man. Nice coal right here. Take this guy out. We want to harvest him with our pick so we get more meat than we do. There we go. Boom. That was actually really easy. I thought we were going to have to fight an army of piranhas to get that done. Sometimes... Arc's not so bad, you know? Sometimes you catch a break. We caught a break there. Go over here to our um, our campfire. Throw the fish meat on there. We need a little bit more wood. Grab some wood. And we're going to cook up this fish meat. It's going to take a couple minutes. Uh, I'll bring you guys right back when this is all cooked up. And we're back. And it's a little rainy here on the arc right now. Uh, we've got enough fish meat cooked up. We're going to grab these 18 fish meat. We're going to go back over here to our cooking pot, throw those in there, throw our pteranodons and eggs in there. And now we're going to craft up some simple kibble. So we want to pull for 12. We can make this time 12 simple kibble. We're going to put the water skins in there, turn the fire on, and those are going to start crafting up. Uh, one great thing about when it's raining, you might not know, is that you can actually fill your water skins or water jars or canteens anything you have just by standing out in the rain uh, which is really cool so if i just st stand here in the rain go into my inventory push e and it fills them up right here i don't have to run over the water so actually really convenient to make kibble in the rain and also dance in the rain it's very convenient okay so these are almost done two more and final one boom there you go so you turn your fire off and now we have 14 basic and 12 simple and you've made your first kibble i'm gonna take one of my water skins back so i have some water with me when we're out now let's see if we can find some dillos oh i have my make sure uh when you go taming always check that you have your trank arrows on your crossbow or your bow and not regular arrows i've made that mistake many 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 times always look it shows a little picture in the corner See how you can see if you look, it might be really small for you guys, but there's a little picture of a green arrow in the corner that shows that you have your trank arrows equipped and not regular arrows. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out to tame something and accidentally killed it or gotten it really low on health because I accidentally shot it with the wrong arrows. So let's see if we can find some dillos or a raptor here along the beach. Um, not seeing any as of yet. It's also, it's kind of a gloomy day. It's a little, a little depressing here on the Ark today. Come on, sun, come back out. Oh, and we're freezing too. It's really cold. What? Why are we so cold, man? We have 30 fortitude too. We have a decent amount of fortitude. We're getting ice cubed. 
Uh, let's see. There was a bunch over here when I was looking for dodos the other day. There's another dodo. Pariser. No. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to do a little bit of looking around, and I'll bring you guys back when we find something cool to tame. And we're back, and I didn't find any dillos or raptors yet, but I did find one of my favorite creatures in Ark. This is a Lystro. Uh, they're just silly little guys. I think they're super cute. Uh, once you tame them and you have them in your base and you pet them, they give an XP boost to your creatures or anybody that's within the range. But I just like to have a little friend around the base, and that's basically all they are for me. But I actually love them. I always get them in my series, and I always name them Murder, uh, cause just because I think they're so silly looking and so harmless, and I tried to give it a super tough name. So it's a good throwback to my season one, but I always name them Murder. So we're going to team this guy up, and we'll have our first Murder of the season. So let's get him teamed up. Oh, wow, that only took that was only 22%. I'm surprised. This guy's level six, the lowest possible level, and he still only got 22%. All right, we're going to tame this guy up, and uh, I'll bring you guys back right as he tames up. Okay, guys, it's time. Final feed on this guy. By the way, these guys, I probably should have explained, are passive tames, which mean when I walk up to him, see how it says feed medjo berry to tame? So all you have to do is put vegetables or berries in your final slot, in your zero slot, all the way on the right, walk up to him and push E, and boom. He's tamed. It's murder. Murder's back. Now, these guys have a pretty good sense of humor, and if you wait around to the end of the episode, we might be able to convince him to tell us a joke. But I'm going to walk this guy back to base. I'm going to grab my Pteranodon and fly around and try to find some Dillos, because I'm not finding any uh, super close to the base. So we're going to bring this guy back to base, grab the Pteranodon, and we'll be right back. And by the way, look at how cute he is. Look at him. Look at him go. He's... <laughs> They're so adorable. <laughs> Okay, guys, we got our new friend murdered back to base. We grabbed our Pteranodon. I flew over this way a little bit, and we found one. Here we go. He's not a super high level. He's only a 60, but we just kind of want these guys around our base uh, to help protect the base. Oh, there's another one over there, too. I didn't even see the one over there. Let's try to... There we go. We knocked him out. Boom. Nice. Let's see if we can get this one, too. What level are you, man? He's a 48. Not amazing. All right, nice. There we go. We're going to throw some kibble on these guys. Uh, basic kibble these guys will take probably only take one or two I'm just gonna put two on them for now something to be careful about with kibble uh, let me turn the music down Jeez, epic music intensifies uh, the, your dinos will eat the kibble so if you have a bunch of kibble say I put this 14 kibble on this guy if he tamed off of one kibble and then he'll just keep eating it and eating it and eating it until it's all gone so you want to pay attention to that you want to make sure you take it off your tames uh, right away as soon as they tame up. Or uh, you want to uh, check a site like Dodo Dex is really good. Or the, you know, there's other sites out there that tell you exactly how much it's going to take to tame a particular dino. And you can put in just that much so you don't waste it. As uh, Here we go. We got a Chillo. Because Kibble as, is pretty hard to come by. Don't eat my Kibble. Dang it. See, I think he just ate one Kibble. Give me this. Give me it. No. So we're going to take one. Yeah. Give me my kibble back. No. Dang it. He, dang it. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we wasted one kibble there on each of them, but that's okay. So we're going to grab this guy and grab this guy. We're going to run him back to base real quick with our Pteranodon. Uh, Pteranodons can pick up really, really small creatures like Dillos. So if we just go up and we'll right click. I'm going to run this guy back to base real quick. Whoa. He's kind of doing a levitation, not in our grasp thing there. Uh, we're going to get these two guys back to base, and then we're going to start looking around for potentially a raptor so we can have a new mount to ride around and help us gather meat and protect the base, and it's going to be really great. But we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got our two new friends, the Chillos, back to base. Uh, we're going to make sure they're on neutral. Now, what neutral means is they won't run off and attack anything else, but if something attacks them, they'll fight back. So we're going to whistle neutral. So now these guys will be on neutral, as you see, aggression level neutral, aggression level neutral. We are trike is also on aggression level neutral. So if anything comes and attacks our base, they're going to fight back. Now, if a T-Rex comes and attacks our base, they're going to get eaten. Our base is going to get eaten. Everything's going to get eaten. These guys aren't going to be amazing defense. They're going to be a little something, though. So if a 
a lower level Sarko comes out and attacks us again, or something small like that, a Raptor. They, these three should be able to handle business and keep our base safe. So just a little bit of defenses for us. Nothing amazing yet. We're building up to the bigger and stronger dinos, but those guys are a good start. Now, uh, before I go out though and look for a Raptor, I wanna make a Raptor saddle. Uh, so we're gonna go into our Ingrams. We're gonna look up Raptor and there we go, learn. And we're gonna go into crafting, look for Raptor. And we have S plus again, so we're just gonna pull for that and craft it. If you don't have S plus, just gather up the materials in your inventory and craft it. Uh, we're gonna fly out on our Pteranodon and try to find and tame a, uh, a Raptor, but we're gonna need a way to get him back to base. So for me, I would rather ride the Raptor and have the Pteranodon follow me in the air. That seems a little bit safer than riding the Pteranodon and having the Raptor follow us. So make sure and bring a saddle with you when you go out to tame. It'll make things a bit easier to get back. Now I'm gonna cruise around for a little bit, hopefully find a decent level Raptor. Uh, raptors are pretty weak. They don't have high health, they don't have high stam, they have very low weight. They're very uh, just starter mounts. But, so we wanna get as high of a level as we can because a, a low level Raptor is practically useless. If you get a decent level Raptor, then they're reasonably useful for a little while. So we're gonna spend some time, try to find a decent leveled one, and then we'll be right back. Oh look, we got beavers. What's up beavers? And we're back. Uh, I did find a pretty good Raptor. He's over there behind us. He's a 156, uh, pretty decent. Our max level on our server is 180. So he's up there, but I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, what we're going to use to contain him or capture him real quick so we can knock him out. It's called bolas. So you want to go into your ingrams, make sure you learned bola. Bola. There we go, right there. Uh, and then you want to go into crafting. Craft. Bola. And we're going to craft up. We can only make four of these with the resources we have on us. So hopefully that's going to be enough. We just need to not miss. Um, now the way these work, you put them down in your hotbar. So I put them in my number five slot. I push number five and it'll pull it out like this. And now you hold down, at least on PC, you hold down left click and it starts to spin it up like that. And now when I let go, it's gonna throw it. So I wanna spin it up and let it go. And if I am able to hit the um, Raptor with it, it's gonna tie him up for a few seconds. And hopefully that'll give us enough time to knock him out. Now, Raptors, I, I should warn you, do have a mechanic that's very, very dangerous. If you get close to a raptor, even if you're on your pteranodon or on a mount, any kind of mount uh, that's not like super huge, like uh, they can pounce you off. So they grab you off your dinosaur and they hold you down and they bite you and bite you and bite you. And it's super dangerous and it's really easy to get killed. So you wanna be very, very, very careful while dealing with raptors, especially if there's uh, multiples of them in the same spot. Is that the guy? Are you him? That's him right there, okay. So we're gonna try to land. We're gonna land up on something to try to keep our pteranodon safe. So we're gonna land up here. So hopefully our pteranodon stays safe. We're gonna pop off. We're gonna pull out our bolas and see if we can get this guy trapped. It'd be nice if we could draw him over here to uh, the rock and we could just pull him from the top. Hey man, hey, hey you, over here. Delicious snack for you. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth, everybody. Oh, here he comes. He's mad at us. He's mad at our pteranodon. Where'd he go? We're being very careful now. Spin up our bola. Get a good shot on him. We missed. Okay, perfect. Got him. Now pull out. You quickly pull out your crossbow and try to knock him out. Hopefully you can get him knocked out before the bola wears off. Come on, baby. Fall over. And he's out. Let's go. We did it. We did it. Okay, now we want to make sure there's nothing else around. Be careful. Throw our kibble on him. Now, this guy takes simple kibble. Remember that different kibbles are good for different dinos. So, uh, you want to... There's a whole list of them. All the dinos in Ark. I can't list them all off. Lots of websites will show you, Dodo Dex or the Arc Wiki, but uh, Raptors take simple kibble. So we're going to put our simple kibble on them. 
We're going to babysit him, make sure and try to keep him safe until he gets up. And then we're going to try to remember that as soon as he tames up to take the remainder of our kibble off so that uh, he doesn't eat it all. But I'm going to hang out with this guy and hopefully we're going to have a brand new, brand new carnivore to ride around and we'll be right back. And he's up, he's up, he's up. Our first carnivore of the season. Uh, well, I guess, I guess their turn it on was, but uh, anyway, it's the cheese raptor. It's the chapter, chapter one. Cheese tames a chapter. Okay, so he tamed out with 1,360 health, 645 stam, 232 weight, and 313 melee damage. As you can see, he is not super powerful, but we're going to put our saddle on him. And, dude, I really like his colors. He's a really good-looking guy. I like the green with the, like, pink mohawk spikes. Yeah, you're pretty. You're pretty. Are you a girl or a boy? You're a pretty girl. Now, we want to make sure and not forget our pteranodon, so we're going to whistle our pteranodon to follow us, and then we're going to try to run home. Let's go. Successful tame. We did it. Excellent work, everyone. Uh, I'm going to run this guy back to base. And I'll see you guys when we get there. And we're back. And fellas, find yourself a girl that looks at you the way this pteranodon's looking at me. <laughs> what the heck? But anyway, uh, that's about all the time we have for today. We learned how to make uh, basic and simple kibble. We tamed some dillos to protect the base. We went out and tamed a raptor. We learned how to make bolas and use those. If you guys learned anything or if you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Yeah. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are looking for your own ARC server like the one I use, make sure and check out my Nitrato link down below. They have really great servers and excellent prices and great customer service. I definitely recommend them for anyone that's looking for their own server. And... If you guys haven't come and seen me live, I stream live on Twitch every single day. Lots of ARK and Fortnite, and right now I'm trying to play Red Dead Redemption whenever it's not crashing. All sorts of other fun games. I'd love to meet you guys and chat and hang out. You should come see me at twitch.tv slash TV. And I'm starting a brand new Patreon series and server tomorrow. We're going to be doing Vanilla Enhanced which is a new take on ARK. There's no flyers. Uh, the large carnivores don't tame by normal means. You have to get them low on health and they'll drop a fertilized egg and then you have to raise the fertilized egg. Lots of other changes. It should be really, really interesting, but it's open to any uh, supporter of my channel, whether you're a YouTube member, a Twitch sub, or even a Twitch Prime sub or a Patreon. So if you're interested in coming to play with me, you should check out my links down below. Come and join the Discord. I'd love to see you guys. But before we go, we got to go talk to Murder. Yo, Murder, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, look at me when I'm talking to you. Hey, over here. Yo, Murder, hey. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, not too much. We had a great day today. We learned how to make kibble. We learned how to make bolas and use bolas. We tamed up some dillos. We tamed up a cool raptor. We tamed up you. It was a great day. How was your day? Mm, it was okay. I went to the hospital. Oh no, you went to the hospital? Yeah, but I got sick of waiting, so I asked if I could just stitch myself up. Oh, really? Yeah, they said, suit yourself. Get it? <laughs> suit yourself? Suit your... <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese and murder.